Hello all, Rambling Canuck back for another video. Today's video is going to be a recorded version of the Morning Ramble. But f first, before I get on with my topic of the day, I'd like to send a thank you to DJ Odyssey for allowing me on his live stream the other night. It was fun. Unfortunately, my computer wouldn't cooperate as usual, so it didn't last long, but it was for it was fun while it lasted. So thank you again, DJ. So this morning's ramble is going to be with New Year's on the cusp here. Um, a question that's been kind of bugging me really ever since The Last Jedi came out. And now with The Rise of Skywalker coming out, um, it just keeps bugging me. And that is to discuss the question, is being a fan no longer fun? Because it's really starting to not be fun anymore. It really isn't. To some degree. I don't know if it's le like that for everyone else. But for me, it's starting to lose the fun in it. And it's because you're not allowed to have fun. You're not allowed to be yourself. You're not allowed to have an individual thought. If you like something that the majority of that fandom doesn't like, then you're not a true fan. If you don't like something that the majority of the fandom like, then you're not a true fan. And it doesn't matter, you know, if you used to get teased and bugged and had fights at school because you liked this particular genre or not they're very quick to go well if you like this movie or if you like this part or if you like that they did this you're not a real fan I know because in Rise of Jedi in the last in the last Jedi sorry it's early in the morning I came away from that movie very annoyed, very mad, but I enjoyed it because I, to a degree, if I turned off the fan in me and just enjoyed the conversations I had with my son about it, picking the movie apart together, going, I wish they'd done this or I wish they'd done that, that was fun for me. So out of that was my enjoyment of the movie. Now, I felt kind of torn because the movie was dreadful, absolutely dreadful. And I make no bones about it, I did not like The Last Jedi. However, I thought after watching Rise of Skywalker, because yes, it wasn't a great movie, it wasn't something that was earth-shattering or was going to fix everything that was done in The Last Jedi. However, it made attempts. And it made attempts to cater to the fans. And coming out of The Last Jedi, we heard a lot of forget the normies, forget the, 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 the SJWs and focus on us fans. Give us what us, us fans want. So they make a few moves. They make a few gestures. They make a few apologies. A few middle fingers to Ryan Johnson. In the movie. And instead of saying, Thank you. You made an okay movie. It wasn't a complete train wreck. Progress. No. That's, that's not it at all. Now... It's, if you like the Rise of Skywalker in any way, if you give it a rating that is better, that is better than, oh my god, this is the worst movie made, you get told you're not a true fan of Star Wars. And I think that's, that's sad. And it makes being a fan not any fun. Because... 
not everybody's going to like exactly what everybody else does. And I think we're really moving in a direction that is harmful and making fandom very unfun. It's bad enough that the movies are trying to do it, but we're doing it to each other now. And I think that's bad. And we're not only doing it in Star Wars. It's not just Star Wars. It's everything. Wrestling fans. Um, I'll just touch on this briefly because I know that not very many people who listen to me are wrestling fans. But wrestling fans have this wonderful divide right now between AEW and WWE. And if you like WWE over AEW, oh, you've committed the seventh deadliest sin because the WWE is garbage and AEW is the new upstart that is is going to save wrestling. And if you're not on that bandwagon, then you just must be the worst mother trucker alive. So again, being a fan really sucks. But in wrestling, it's been that way for a while. Star Trek. God forbid you're optimistic about Picard. Then you're naive and stupid and not a true fan of Trek. If you happen to be say anything good about Discovery, whether it's oh they have well they, they you know, they have some good parts, but most of it sucks. Even that isn't good enough. Then you're labeled not a true fan of Trek. So really, in all fandoms across the board, as I start to go into the new year, I fear we're taking, we're taking the fun out of it. Disney has been accused of taking the fun out of it. But in, for the rest of the video, I'm kind of going to harp on Star Wars for a bit because it's kind of the main topic here. But, like, I, I, I was born in 84. So I wasn't around for the first, for the trilogy, the original trilogy. And so I can't speak to what the crowds were or what the theaters were like. But I was around for prequels and I have to say I, I was thinking about it the other day and everything that's being said about Disney or Lucasfilm now was being said about George Lucas during the prequels George Lucas was hung out to drive during the prequels he could do no right <laughs> now he's a saint and Disney is screwing up George Lucas's vision I got news for you. The fandom hated episodes one, two, and three, especially one. My son, when he goes back to watch it, won't watch The Phantom Menace. He starts at Attack of the Clones. But again, all that's forgotten now. It's barely brought up. George Lucas is a saint now. During prequels, he was the devil incarnate. Because he was ruining Star Wars. Yeah, imagine that. George Lucas ruining Star Wars. Now it's Disney. Now George Lucas has ascended to the throne and put on a pedestal. And Disney is the one that is the devil incarnate and ruining Star Wars. And it's just taking the fun out of it. You're not allowed to just be a fan. Like what you like. Agree to disagree. That term no longer exists. And I don't care what fandom you're in. The agree to disagree just doesn't exist anymore. Just doesn't exist. You're, you're not allowed. It's forbidden. You're, you're shunned. If you like something that the majority doesn't. Well. You're up Shit's Creek. If you don't like something that the majority does, well, you're up Shit's Creek. 
I started doing Mandalorian reviews. I did episodes one and two. I have yet to watch episode eight. I will tomorrow because I've been waiting for my son to come home, but he has something called the social life, apparently. So, to watch it with him because it's our tradition. We watch Star Wars together. And just as we watched Rise of Skywalker together, and then we talked about it. It's the best part of the movies for me. It's finding out what my son thought of it. And going off on tangents and talking about how they should have done this or should have done that. or But anyway, I digress. The Mandalorian for me didn't really pick up until about episode 5. And I just didn't feel like doing reviews because, quite honestly, up until episode 4 or 5, I wasn't really into it. There were some things that I didn't like. I didn't like that they showed on screen you could punch Mandalorian armor and have no side effect. Um, several times, I might add. Some of the story just wasn't clicking for me. It's gotten better now. And I'm really in, in, into it now. It's pulled me in. But at first, I really wasn't... I was kind of meh. I don't really care about this. But now it's it's gotten better. And I will probably end up putting a review of the whole season together sometime this week and putting it out there. But again, the majority really, 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 really liked The Mandalorian. So... I kind of figured there's no point in me giving another opinion because, well, um, it ain't going to go over well. And that's where we sit in all our fandoms right now is that fans are being silenced whether they like something or they don't like something. They're being bullied they're being pushed around. Not only by the companies, which was normal. Especially if you're a wrestling fan. You're used to the WWE calling you a bunch of basement-dwelling fanboys. Or marks, as they like to say. But you didn't get that from your peers. Now you do. I think that's sad. Star Wars. Yeah, we'd get slaps in the face from the companies. But never from each other. Yeah, we'd argue, you know, Luke could take Vader or Vader could take Luke or this person from the EU could take this person. Yeah, we'd argue about that. But we'd never attack each other's fandom or degree of fandom. Because in the fandom, we were one. Now we're several. And I think that's a really sad state of affairs. Very sad state of affairs. And I'm, my hope for the next year is that some of the negativity goes away. And yeah... We might get SJW movies and movies that really, really just make us go, Why? Why did you do this? But we got to get the fandom back. To where we're not insulting each other anymore. We're not taking hard stands against each other anymore. Because it, it's really... That's what's going to kill Star Wars, or Star Trek, or wrestling, or Marvel, or any fandom you go into. You get a new fan into Star Trek, or Star Wars, 
and they go and see Rise of Skywalker. It's their first movie, first experience of Star Wars. So they don't know the past. They don't know the lore. Then they they come out of that theater and their eyes are wide and they don't know what was wrong with the movie. They just they just really liked it. So now now they're going to do what any fan does. Go and learn the lore. Go and try to gather information and the best way to do that nowadays is online. And that new fan is going to find out that they're on the wrong side of the coin. And they're going to get bullied, yelled at, name called. Not by the companies, not by the actors, but by the very fandom we're trying to bring them into. Yeah, The Last Jedi sucked. Bad. This whole trilogy had no view, no design. It was put together by a drunk Irishman and constructed by a f completely drunk Frenchman. But And written by a illiterate Englishman. But that's besides the point. The point is... How can we expect the fandom to grow? Because it's not the movies that are going to make this thing grow. It isn't even the shows. It's us. If we are negative, nobody's going to want to join that group. Nobody's going to want to come in and see us. Now, yeah, you don't have to say, well, the movie was great. Yeah, I agree with you. You can say, no, I, uh, uh, here's my problems, and here's why. And then you show them the other movies. And you go, see, that's why we don't like that, because it conflicts with this. But if you jump down their throats right away, and all they see is negativity and slammed and, 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 and called not a fan and... Who wants to join that? It, it's it's just sad because Lucasfilm can't kill Star Wars. J.J. Abrams can't kill Star Wars. Ryan Johnson can't even kill Star Wars. The only ones that can kill Star Wars, Star Trek, wrestling fan, wrestling fandom, any fandom you want to name, the only ones who can kill it is us, the fans. And that's something I think we've lost. It's not the movies that kill a fandom. It's not even the... It's 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 not even the people in them, and it isn't the big companies that kill a kill a franchise. It's the fandoms that kill a franchise. So I'm gonna wa wrap this up because I've kind of gone on a long tangent here, and if you've listened this long, I thank you. So I guess my main thing is let's let's try in 2020 to be a little bit more of a positive fandom. We can still not like Last Jedi. We can still not be all that thrilled with how this latest trilogy ended up. Heck, you could even not even like Rise of Skywalker. Do remember when you're seeing somebody who's saying that they liked the movie, they might be a new fan. Or they could be like one of my friends who me and him have heated conversations about this, like before the Rise of Skywalker came in, 
We had a heated discussion, but we had a discussion. It wasn't name calling, it wasn't you're right, I'm wrong. It was discussion. And I had said that I had hoped that Palpatine wasn't coming back in the flesh. And his comment was, Palpatine's coming back as a force ghost. And when I tried to explain to him that that's not possible, his exact answer word for one word was, ah, they'll just retcon it so he can. And he's a year older than me. And at that point, I just looked at him, and I said, Walt, I agree to disagree. I'm more of a purist than you. But I can respect that you go to these movies for the spectacle. And I'd gladly watch it with you. We can't have that now. But that's where we need to get back to. We can disagree. We can not like the same thing. We can be on opposite sides of the coin. But at the end of the day, we are fans. And it's that bond that should be unbreakable. We should not be turning on each other. We should be able to go, yeah, I didn't like that much. But you know what I really liked about Star Wars? And you find a common ground. We used to be able to do that. We can't anymore. So in the new year, let's try to be a little positive. Let's just go back to having fun. To hell with what they want to do in Hollywood. We're nerds. We don't need the companies to, to have fun. And on that note, thanks for listening. Until next time, take her easy, folks. <laughs>